Um, if you can really ignore the music in the background, um, this is Disney 65 in here and I'm going to do a quick review of a film that I hadn't seen in like 10 years and I actually purchased, purchased the movie yesterday in deals. So um, it is of course Stardust. Uh, Stardust is, stars Robert De Niro, Michelle Pfeiffer, Claire Danes, Charlie Cox, and it also has Sienna Miller and a unrecognisable Henry Cavill. And it tells her about this guy called uh, Tristan, played by Charlie Cox, who goes off in a quest to retrieve the fallen star, which is actually played by Claire Danes, as he is in love with a girl called... What's her name again? He's in love with a girl called... I forget her name, actually. Um, what's her name? I saw this film, actually, just now. Um, what's her name again? Oh God! It's not Evie. No, Evie's name is Star. Anyway, he falls in love with this girl. Oh no, Victoria's her name. Yeah, see, anyway, plays this girl called Victoria, and um, of course, uh, when Tristan does get the fun star, he actually. At first, doesn't see eye to eye with her, with Yvain, and of course, romance blossoms between himself and the star. And, um, yeah, and of course, it's this evil witch played by Michelle Pfeiffer who wants Claire Dane's character, Yvain, for herself because of eternal youth. Kind of like Mother God from Tangled. So, um, what I think about this movie, um, you know what? I actually liked this movie, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I did get it before in DVD, I remember, and I was like, eh, I didn't like it at all when I first saw it before. But then when I purchased purchased the DVD again and saw it again just now, I actually kind of enjoyed it, you know, I actually I enjoyed the movie. Um, the visuals is very good. Um, the actors are good. You know, I like the chemistry between Charlie Cox, who is this guy here, and Claire Danes is, oh, it's not Claire Danes. Where's Claire Danes in this? Oh yeah, that's Claire Danes there, and that's your man, uh, Charlie Cox. And that's Michelle Pfeiffer, that's Robert De Niro, who of course plays a gay captain this movie. Um, he was funny in this movie. Um, what else? Yeah, the story's kind of like The Princess Bride. So think of it as The Princess Bride and you pretty much get this movie. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, if you haven't seen Stardust, do watch it. It's a, it's a good movie. Um, it's directed by Matthew Vong, who also uh, produced that movie. Oh gosh, can't film it all. He also produced um that thing, uh, Age of the Eagle. So um yeah, overall I give this movie a four out of five stars. It's a good film. Um, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's character kind of reminds me of Mother God from Tangled. That's all I'm gonna say. She's kind of like Mother God from Tangled because she wants eternal youth. Mother God wants an eternal youth. Um, yeah, this movie is actually rated PG. Uh, the reason why it's rated PG is because it contains moderate fantasy violence and scary moments. So yeah, this movie is dark, by the way. It is a dark, dark film. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If oh yeah, and also Henry Cavill. Um, I've seen this film so many times and I never knew that Henry Cavill was in this movie. If you don't know who Henry Cavill is, he is the guy who played Superman in Batman v Superman. And he was in Justice League as well. Um, never knew he was in this movie at all. Never even knew he was in that film. So it was kind of a, um, a surprise to see him being this unrecognisable um, character called Humphrey. Um, it also stars uh, Peter O'Toole, who I think passed away. And also has... Oh yeah, the narrator is, uh, what you call him, Ian McKellen, who of course is Cogsworth on Beauty and the Beast and Magneto on X-Men. So, um, yeah, overall, I'll give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars and probably 7 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was a very, very good film. Um, oh, yeah, it also has Mark Strawn, who is, of course, currently in Shazam with Zachary Levi. I did a review of Shazam there yesterday. So, Saturday, but I posted it there Sunday, which is today. Well, it's not Sunday now. It's actually Monday. <laughs> Monday morning now. So, I will post this, this um, up uh, shortly. Probably um in the morning, early morning, that I'll do this. So that's been said. Um, I see y'all. Chat to you soon. So thanks for watching. Take care.